In today's episode, Green World presents Umbrella Fruit Harvest and also how to make sweet umbrella pickles. Hi friends, today I am getting ready to harvest my umbrella, kadondong, june plum, golden apple or whatever its name might be. Umbrella is a fast-growing tropical tree with edible fruits. The tree bears fruit abundantly and the fruits are found in clusters of up to a dozen or more. Umbrella fruit is known by various names in various regions of the world. But in Malaysia and Indonesia, it is commonly called kadondong. The fruit has a tough skin outside and a hard and crunchy flesh inside with a fibrous pit at the center. Only the hard fleshy part is edible and is sour when green. Although the fruit can be eaten at various stages of maturity and while still green, it tastes best when ripened. The fruit turns golden yellow when it ripens. It has flavors of pineapple and mango when ripe. Unripe fruits are also enjoyed with salt and seasoning. Umbrella is a crispy and juicy fruit, rich in vital nutrients and antioxidants. It has impressive amounts of calcium and also high levels of vitamin A and C. Recent studies show that these two vitamins are very active as natural antioxidants that helps counter free radical damage. They also boost our natural immune system. The umbrella variety I'm growing here is the dwarf variety. This variety only grows to a maximum height of 5 feet. This variety will start producing fruits after a year, even when planted from seed. The propagation method for umbrella in general is from seeds. Umbrella can be easily propagated from store-bought mature fruits. Green umbrella fruit can be processed in many different ways. They can be candied, pickled or made into a refreshing drink. how I preserved my abundant harvest. The first step is to remove the stems from the fruit. To make this crunchy, sweet, sour, juicy snack, I use no vinegar or preservative. By simply using the natural fermentation process, the fruits can be preserved for long periods of time. The next step is to remove the outer green skin. In fact, preserving the fruits this way makes them also a probiotic rich food. Moreover, the fruits can be enjoyed for a longer period of time without losing any of their natural goodness. The fruits are then rinsed in water twice. By using just three ingredients, salt, water and sugar, the green umbrella fruits can be transformed into sweet, sour and crunchy snacks. There are two simple ways to pickle umbrella. They can be pickled whole or cut up into chunks with the center seed removed. Whichever way you choose, they taste just as good at the end. For pickling umbrella chunks, it's best to add the salt first. One tablespoon for every 300 grams of fruit chunks. 
Give a good mix. The mixture is then transferred into a clean glass jar after one hour with all the fruit juices collected at the bottom. The fruit chunks are then topped up with boiled cooled water so that all the fruit chunks remain below the water surface. Weigh the fruits down with a heavy stone or porcelain ware if necessary. The jar is then kept at room temperature for three days for Mother Nature to do her work. After three days, sugar is added and the fruit chunks will be ready to eat. It might take a little longer for all the sugar to be totally absorbed into the fruit. To pickle umbrella fruits whole, the fruits are first packed tightly into clean glass jars. The fruits are then topped up with a simple salt solution, one tablespoon of salt for each liter of cooled boiled water. The fruits are then allowed to soak in the salt water for three days, keeping them at room temperature. On the second day, you will notice the fruits tend to float up. This might be due to their losing water to the salt solution. Any floating part of the fruit might tend to undergo oxidation and decay eventually. However, it's very important the fruits remain submerged to ensure only anaerobic fermentation occurs. There are many ways to ensure the fruits remain submerged. Here I am using a plastic lid which can then be weighed down with a heavy stone or porcelain ware. Another way is to use a plastic lid and a cup that fits into the jar. Press the fruits down with a cup filled with salt solution. After two days, you will notice much activity going on. A white foam appears on the surface. This is a good indication that fermentation is going on and Mother Nature is at work. At this stage, remove some of the salt water if necessary or it might overflow due to high activity. After three days, sugar is added. Remove some of the fermented water if necessary so that sugar can be added. The amount of sugar might vary according to taste. Here I am adding 100 grams of sugar to each jar of 20 whole fruits. Give a good stir and make sure all the sugar is dissolved. The jars are then kept in the fridge for another day or two after adding the sugar. This is to give time for the sugar to be absorbed into the fruit. The fruits will then acquire a sweet and sour taste, which is how I prefer. This umbrella pickle stores well in the fridge for more than three months. Pickled Probiotic-rich umbrella fruits can be enjoyed anytime. These umbrella fruits are now ready for the taste test. This is how it looks. Fibrous seed at center. Tastes so good. Very crunchy, sweet, and sour. Just right. That's all, my friends. Thanks for watching.